Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Software Automation Experience. Today I am back with another most useful video of reading data from JSON response and then making use of that red data. Suppose uh, from this video, from this uh, uh, HTTP request, you have created a patient and then in the next HTTP request, you want to fetch that uh, patient details so you can make use of a patient ID, right? So from this response, you can store uh, the patient ID and then uh, you can make use of that patient ID or patient identifier into another HTTP request. How can we achieve that? So let me show you that. So first of all, uh, in order to accomplish these things like adding HTTP request, HTTP header manager, uh, response assertion, I have already uh, I am making use of already created uh, test suite for read data from uh, JSON response. So if you want to accomplish uh, these steps, you can refer my video read data read or get data from JSON response. I will uh, provide you the link in the description. Okay. So let me just uh, go to uh, this HTTP request and see what we are doing here. Here we are just creating a patient into a database like the, this is uh, the patient resource type is patient. You can see identifier values are the system value is URN OID entry 0 0.1 and its value is 123786 and name of the patient is uh, uh, patient family name is Chalmer and patient given name is Peter and James and uh, the patient gender is male birth date is this okay so once this data is created into our database I just want to uh, let me first execute this and show you what we are uh, trying to achieve here here just uh, to execute it let me clear all and then click on start button and click on view results tree it will show me that this uh, request got executed successfully as it is in green and as you can see we have got the response as 201 created and if you see in the response we have got that uh, this patient is created in the database with patient id 720 okay if you want to fetch this uh, the same patient uh, and uh, try if you want to fetch the same patient and just uh, want to see that if this is really stored in our database you need to make use of this patient id or this patient identifier value something like that okay how to achieve that so let me first rename this instead of http request i'll just rename this request as create a patient resource What I'll do is uh, this is uh, my create patient resource uh, request. I'll add one more request in the same uh, controller. One more HTTP request to add that. Uh, right click on the simple controller, add sampler and HTTP request. So just let me move it up uh, from view resource tree and name it as uh, get patient or read no. get patient using patient id here i want to achieve i want to get the patient fetch the patient details using patient id okay configure this let me just go to the postman and get the details of that request so this is my request I'll just copy this control C and we'll paste here sorry There's some problem with my laptop So I'll do, I'll just take this HTTPS protocol and paste it here. Uh, I'll take the server name and paste it here. I'll take the port number 
and paste data port number this will be the part uh, path where uh, which i want to uh, call so this id if i pass it like this this will be the hard coded i don't want to pass the hard coded value and i i will not know what patient id got created with this create patient id request so i'll just pass a variable here so to pass the variable here what i'll do is let me expand this this one i have created in the post processor as you can see i have uh, read the patient id from the json response okay whatever response i got from this create patient resource request i've just read it and stored it as a def variable now and uh, i have also printed it using log.info statement the stored patient id is this one. this will be uh, just printed into the logs now i want to make it make use of it into further other uh, http request to do that what i'll do is i'll just make use of where's dot put statement where's dot put so i will create one more new variable like uh, patient with capital p patient underscore id okay so there i'll pass this patient id in def variable value okay once this value is passed then this value will be stored into this patient variable patient id patient underscore patient underscore id variable just copy this and paste it into so here i want to make use of that patient id what i'll do is i'll make use of dollar curly braces and just, just paste it okay as it's a get request we no need of uh, uh, body data for this i'll just add a simple response assertion for this so that will be that will check main sample and then the response code which equals to the 200 okay just control s this will be saved now if i execute this request it will uh, fetch the patient id and uh, try to hit the get request to the same server and get the get those patient details first of all it will create a new patient and then it will make use of that patient id and then uh, fetch it fetch the details of that patient and show you okay just uh, let us try this and see clear the uh, old data clear all click on start as you can see both of the requests got executed the first request is create a patient resource which is got successful with uh, you can see uh, both got successful with the green color and uh, let me just check what is the response create a patient resource has given 201 created response okay and this is the patient details we have passed as part of request body and uh, what is our response our response is this patient with id 723 and uh, we have uh, the family uh, we have the patient details as uh, given name is james peter and family name is chalmers okay now what i will do is i will just uh, in the next request what we are doing is we just want to verify whether this id has passed id 723 has passed to it let's let's just check it okay so the sampler result of this is 200 okay and then what is our request as you can see <coughs> our request contains that same id 723 as the patient id and this request got executed successfully and let's check the response the, the response is patient with id 723 we have these things and also the identifier value and the family name and given name you can see you can check all the details are exactly same so this way we can make use of uh, uh, we can store variables into uh, we can create variables and store it with another name and make use of that variable into other http requests and uh, try to fetch the uh, same uh, try to fetch the details uh, this is basically to make use of uh, variables so let me show you one more thing here uh, what i will do is i will uh, 
this one this request i have executed uh, for getting the patient details using patient id i'll create one more uh, similar request so for that what i'll do is i'll just duplicate this so i'll name it as get patient using patient identifier value okay so for that what i'll do uh first of all i'll read the identifier value and then store it into a variable and then make use of that variable into this request okay so let me go to the post processor of the first request where i have created the patient resource so there what i'll do is i will just uh, i'll first from the response i try to read the identifier value for that what i'll do is i'll just copy paste this here i am reading system identifier system value but i need identifier value okay what is identifier value i'll show you here in the response of the first request if you see we have uh, identifier here and its value here okay i want to pass this value and then fetch it so for that what i'll do is i'll not uh, hard code this value i'll just pass a variable I'll just store this value into a variable and pass it how to do that so let us go to post processor since i've copy pasted uh, these three lines here what i'll do is uh, this is my identifier value search string let me rename this this identifier value search string and then identifier dot dot value since identifier here is an array way which contains uh, two uh, values and to reach to value we have uh, two braces one is square brace and another one is curly brace hence we will put dollar dot identifier and then dot dot value okay as it's uh, on a second level we put two dots at dollar dot identifier dot dot value so it will fetch me the identifier value this is the identifier value search string let me just copy this paste it here from the json path json response from the response i am just reading this value search string and will store it into identifier patient identifier value variable okay it's a def variable i'll store it into this next thing what i'll do is i'll just copy this and then i'll try to paste this identifier value is patient identifier value is if you want to paste use log dot info statement now i will i want this to be stored for further reference or uh, for that i'll do was dot put identifier i'll store this value into identifier just copy this and paste it here so this patient identifier value will be stored into a variable identifier now to as it is stored into identifier what i'll do is identifier variable i'll just copy this and go here i will make use of the okay before this uh, this request let me just configure this request first uh, to get uh, patient using patient identifier value so what is that i'll just copy this just the path difference uh, we can see uh, here sorry again the system got stuck okay base r slash base r4 slash patient and it's a query parameter we are we need to pass the identifier value here so for that what i'll do is as i have read it already from here identifier value just copy this variable go here dollar curly braces identifier okay just save this control s yes, and add uh, we also have uh, an, a, a response assertion for this which will check if it gives 200 okay response if it gives something uh, other than 200 uh, it will fail the request will fail and it will show into a red color okay so let me do one thing as i've configured this request as well get patient using patient identifier value let me run it and show you guys that 
if this executes successfully and fetches me the details of that patient okay let me clear the old results and then click on start as you can see two requests got executed successfully and one is failed so let us just check what is the error it has thrown okay uh, we did not get 200 okay response but it has given URI syntax exception what is URI syntax exception so let us just go to request and check what it is given okay it has given only the identifier dollar dot and this variable has not uh, resolved okay to what to do that what to do for that let us go back to the same request where we are reading this identifier value what I'll do is identifier value is not a simple one actually so since it is inside the array as you see it is inside the array identifier inside the array okay so I'll do one thing uh, what what is happening is identifier dot dot value is reading it as uh, into a curly braces uh, into a square braces so let us just show you in uh, the log dot info statement if it has printed okay as you can see patient identifier value is it has read into a square brace so if you pass the square brace it will not accept URL into the URL okay it needs uh, just a value so for that what you will do is I'll go back to the request let me just close this log viewer and here what I'll do is in this one where I'm just reading it from the response I'll just pass it as to read me the zeroth element of that I okay uh, press control yes it will save that okay and now let me just execute it once again clear it and start see this got executed successfully uh, all the three requests first I am creating a patient next I am getting a patient using patient ID third I am getting a patient using patient identifier value let me just check what it has given it has uh, responded with 200 ok response and then what is my request so in the request I have passed this got this value got passed the value of the identifier 123786 and uh, the response we got a bundle a resource type bundle okay since uh, this value is same for uh, the patient which which got saved multiple times with different IDs so it has fetched all those uh, uh, it has fetched all the records actually the same patient ID got uh, stored with ID 685 as you can see and whose values identifier value is 1 2 3 7 8 6 and ID uh, the same patient got saved with ID 689 and its value also same uh, identifier value is also same that is one two three seven eight six similarly we have stored it multiple times with different IDs hence uh, means it got this ID got generated uh, every time the new ID but uh, this one as we are passing it so in the request body this will be the same so no worries but uh, it is it has done our job it has uh, passed the identifier value here and then fetched us the response this is way uh, how you can uh, store the variables using wires.put and you can read those variables using wires.get or i dollar curly braces uh, uh, the value of the variable okay so uh, that's all guys in this video so if you like this video uh, please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel uh, and uh, click on the bell notification for any further notifications and please try this out if you get stuck at uh, any point you can write it into a comment and uh, I will try to resolve your queries okay till the next video guys uh, keep watching uh, thank you